Welcome to the world of a spunky and vibrant young girl navigating life's highs and lows, the TV series Punky Brewster remains an everlasting emblem of the industry. Debuting in the vibrant 1980s, this show captured hearts with its endearing characters and relatable tales, offering viewers a blend of laughter, life lessons, and the enduring strength of resilience. With its timeless themes of friendship, family, and perseverance, Punky Brewster carved its place as a symbol of enduring quality in television. Its ability to tackle real-life issues in a lighthearted yet meaningful manner has left a lasting impression, making it a cherished memory for many. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this beloved series? We'd love to hear your stories and experiences in the comments below. Share with us the moments that made Punky Brewster special in your life. From Punky's signature mismatched style to the heartwarming bond with her foster father Henry, this series continues to resonate with audiences, carrying its legacy through the years. Stay tuned for fascinating trivia and captivating insights about this iconic show. Share your cherished memories and experiences related to Punky Brewster in the comments below. We can't wait to hear your stories. Punky Brewster, a beloved TV series from the 1980s, originated as a heartwarming yet unconventional sitcom. The show revolves around Punky, an endearing young girl with a vibrant spirit portrayed by Solo Moonfry. Orphaned and left to navigate the challenges of life on her own, Punky finds an unlikely guardian in Henry Warnemont, played by George Gaines, whose stern exterior conceals a compassionate heart. The series masterfully weaves themes of family, friendship, and resilience as Punky's infectious optimism touches the lives of those around her. With a distinctive blend of humor and emotion, Punky Brewster captured the hearts of viewers, becoming a cultural phenomenon. The series' unique style, marked by Punky's eclectic fashion sense and the heartwarming dynamic between her and Henry, resonated deeply with audiences. Beyond its initial run, the show's impact on popular culture endures, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of television enthusiasts. Punky Brewster stands as a timeless testament to the power of positivity and the enduring bonds that can form within unconventional families, reminding us all that sometimes the most unexpected connections are the most meaningful. Cherie Johnson's real-life connection to Punky Brewster runs deep. Her character, Cherie Johnson, was named after her, and interestingly, Susie Garrett, who played Punky's apartment manager, was Cherie Johnson's actual grandmother. This familial link added a personal touch to the show's casting. Another intriguing aspect of Punky Brewster is the episode titled Fenster Hall, Part 1. Serving as a backdoor pilot for a spin-off series, this episode was initially a one-hour installment but was later split into two parts for syndication. This decision reflected the show's evolving narrative and potential for expansion beyond its original format. Behind the scenes, the program producing unit of NBC took charge of the first two seasons. However, after its cancellation, the series took an unexpected turn. Columbia Pictures Television acquired the rights for a substantial $60 million. The ensuing two seasons, created for syndication, were produced without NBC's involvement, showcasing a shift in the show's production landscape. These behind-the-scenes insights add layers to the legacy of Punky Brewster, shedding light on its evolution, familial connections, and the business decisions that shaped its later seasons. Each element contributes to the show's unique journey, making it more than just a beloved 80s sitcom. Cherie Johnson, who portrayed a character named after her in the 1984 TV series, Punky Brewster, has a notable familial connection to the show. She is the niece of David W. Ducklon, the creator and producer. Despite this familial link, Cherie auditioned like any other actor, ultimately chosen by the network for the role. This behind-the-scenes insight adds a personal touch to the casting process of the beloved show. The production of Punky Brewster faced unique challenges, including scheduling episodes after football games that sometimes ran overtime. To accommodate young viewers, six 15-minute episodes were aired, ensuring they could catch the show and still be in bed early. This strategic move reflects the show's commitment to reaching its target audience in the ever-competitive television landscape. In an interesting twist, Fred Gwynn, originally cast to play Henry, backed out when his iconic role as Herman Munster was mistakenly identified during an audition for Henry P. Warnemont. This unexpected turn of events led to the eventual casting of George Gaines in the role, shaping the dynamic between Punky and her unlikely guardian. 
These lesser-known facts shed light on the intriguing behind-the-scenes aspects of Punky Brewster, from familial connections influencing casting decisions to strategic scheduling choices and unforeseen casting shifts. Each element contributes to the show's unique journey, making it more than just a sitcom from the 80s. Discovering these nuances adds depth to the legacy of Punky Brewster, showcasing the complexity that went into creating a show that has left a lasting impact on television history. In the unseen corners of Punky Brewster's world, certain details remain shrouded in mystery. Throughout the series, viewers never caught a glimpse of Henry's bedroom, maintaining an air of secrecy around the character. Similarly, the Johnsons' apartment and Marjo's house made rare appearances, adding an intriguing layer to the show's narrative. Amidst the heartwarming tales and unexpected connections, an episode titled The Perils of Punky holds a subtle yet interesting detail. The license plate on Henry's car reads peak power, hinting at a subtle nod within the storyline. Such nuanced elements contribute to the depth of Punky Brewster's universe, offering fans hidden gems to discover. In the realm of casting, an audition that could have reshaped the show took place. Jim Carrey, known for his comedic prowess, auditioned for the role of Punky's school teacher. However, his acting style, deemed too comic for the intended audience of children, led to a different casting choice. This behind-the-scenes glimpse reflects the careful considerations made in shaping Punky Brewster's cast and preserving its unique tone. From unseen spaces to hidden details and casting choices, Punky Brewster's world goes beyond what meets the eye. These subtle aspects add layers to the show's legacy, making it more than just a beloved series from the past. Punky Brewster underwent notable changes between its first and second seasons, impacting both the set design and overall atmosphere. In the initial season, the beige couch took the place of a blue plaid one and alterations extended to Henry's apartment, affecting the bathroom, hallway, and front door. This shift in interiors marked a deliberate transformation, reflecting the show's evolving dynamics. Additionally, Punky's character harbors a connection to classic literature, bearing similarities to Celis Marner's narrative. While not an official adaptation, Punky Brewster shares story elements with a novel portraying the relationship between a solitary older figure and an abandoned, spirited young girl. This thematic resemblance adds a layer of depth to Punky's journey, aligning it with timeless literary themes. On a personal note, Punky's real name, Penelope, is a detail that diverges from her well-known moniker. This revelation, coupled with her favorite song, I've Got the Sun in the Morning and the Moon at Night, unveils a poignant connection to her mother. The music box left by her mother playing the song served as a cherished memento. Interestingly, actress Soul Moon Fry, who portrayed Punky, draws her name from this very song, intertwining fiction and reality. As the show progressed, the second season brought about subtle yet impactful changes, providing fans with a fresh perspective on Punky's world. Whether exploring literary parallels or delving into personal connections, Punky Brewster's narrative extends beyond the surface, offering viewers a richer understanding of its complexities. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the vibrant and heartwarming universe of a certain unforgettable TV series, we can't help but marvel at the way it stitched itself into the fabric of our memories. Punky Brewster, a tapestry of laughter, friendship, and life lessons that resonated across generations, as we part ways, take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with the show. Did Punky's infectious spirit inspire your own adventures? Perhaps you found solace in the quirky camaraderie of the characters, or maybe you chuckled at the witty wisdom sprinkled throughout each episode. Share your cherished memories and thoughts below. Let's weave a collective tapestry of nostalgia that celebrates the magic of Punky Brewster. Whether it's a heartwarming anecdote or a life lesson learned, your story adds another layer to the rich legacy of this beloved series. Thank you for joining us on this trip down memory lane for allowing Punky Brewster to color your world with its unique hues. Your presence here has made this journey all the more special. Until next time, keep those memories close and may the spirit of Punky continue to brighten your days.